Jade and today's video is a collaboration. Woo! I've teamed up with some amazing Australian bloggers and we are doing a smoky eye collaboration. So every one of us is doing a different coloured smoky eye and I'm obviously doing red. Now I know this look is pretty bold, pretty full on, in your face, look at me, <laughs> but why not? I haven't done one of these looks in a while and if it's not your thing then definitely you can alter it to make it more your own or change a few elements but I think it's good to go all out there for a change. <laughs> So all of these beautiful YouTubers, I will link their videos in the description box below. So make sure you go down there and check them out. They are just amazing and yeah, it's been lots of fun to collaborate with them. Okay, so I am going to start today by priming my face because it is stinking, stinking hot where I live. I'm just going to use this Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. It is a finishing spritz, but it's really good to use under your foundation as well to make it last really well. Foundation today, I'm using my Perfecting Liquid Foundation from Avon in the shade Neutral Beige. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using two different ones. I'm going to start off with my Models Prefer Eye Brightener. It's like a kind of salmon-y, pinky shade. I'm just going to kind of pat that on, just mainly on the darkest areas. Second product I'm going to use is my e.l.f. Under Eye Concealer and Highlighter. I'm going to use the Concealing in. And I'm going to allow that to sit on my skin while I do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows today, I'm using my Eye of Horus Brow Define in the shade Nile. I'm now just going to set that in place with my Australis Tip My Brow Brow Tint in the shade Blonde. Okay, so because the eyes are going to be quite in depth, what I'm going to do is do one eye off camera and then come back and show you the other eye in depth. I'll see you guys soon! <laughs> okay, so first things first, you'll need some trusty sticky tape. Apply this on the side of your eyes, but we want to kind of stretch it out a fair way, so make sure it's a longer piece of sticky tape. Also, it's good to kind of touch where both lines are and just make sure that they're on the right angle. So I've got a tiny bit of this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer pression, which I've had for years. <laughs> Just going to try and use the rest of this up. Now the next shadow I'm going to use is by Sugar Peel and it's called... <laughs> Actually I don't really know what it's called, it, it's just got dashes and stuff so I'm guessing it's a swear word. <laughs> it does have a little bit of like silver shimmer to it so it's quite nice. Start by patting this over my lid. The next shadow I'm taking is Caramel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And basically, start applying this into the crease. We want to make a nice, smooth transition. Then dip the same brush into that red and go back over the top of the caramel. Have a look at your eyes and just make sure that the shading is looking even. Take the shade Deep Plum and start to build this up on the outer portion of your eye. Now I'm taking a little bit of the shadow Topaz. Just on a massive fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust this. Again, going to help with any transition. And then going in with the shadow Vanilla for my brow bone. Really want to work this colour in well with the other colours. Just so that blending is just seamless. Now taking a little bit of LBD. Kind of just work this into the crease a little bit more. Just to add that tiny bit more depth. So for eyeliner today, I'm using my Napoleon Purtis China Doll Gel Liner in the shade Equinox. Take the tape off. 
and I'm just gonna get a baby wipe. Honestly, I am like sweating my ass off. <laughs> um, so clean up any fallout and then touch up your under eye concealer if you feel you need to. So hot! Oh, sweaty mess. Alright, so I'm gonna line my waterline with that China Doll gel liner. And I just want to accentuate my tear duct as well, just to define it a little bit. Now dipping a small brush in LBD, just going to start to darken. And then a little bit of vanilla and it makes this kind of nice pinky shade. Back with a fluffy brush and just soften and smart. Oh, I did so I'm using uh, these Adele Demi Wispy lashes. So I'm just cutting them to length and applying some duo. Who's texting me? Oh! <laughs> Who is texting me? And applying some duo lash glue. By the way, this stuff is vegan, if you guys were wondering. Mascara today, I'm going to use my Arbonne It's a, it's a Long Story Mascara. I'm just going to buff all the sweat in back into my foundation. <laughs> Honestly, it feels like that's what I'm doing, like, oh. Alright, for our contour colour today, I'm going to use my Savvy Bronzing Powder in Bronze Kiss. tricky when you're dealing with colour so I'm going to use my Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Blush in the shade Poser which is quite a natural kind of neutral shade so it's going to work well. Highlighting today I'm going to use this Kick It, Kick it Side Touch Me Now um, highlighter. Alright so lips. I am kind of torn. I don't really know what to do for my lips. Why not just go all out? Dark red lips, dark smoky red eyes. Okay, challenge accepted. <laughs> so here you have the finished look. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, all of the social media links and all that good stuff is in the description box below, as well as the links to all of the other beautiful people I'm collaborating with today. So definitely go down there and check out their channels and make sure you subscribe and show some support for Australian beauty bloggers. So yeah. All right, guys. Love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know what my ponytail's doing. It's too short. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my eyelashes are falling off already. <laughs>